Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here on Horizon. I'm Rob McClendon. Well, of the 60,000 American troops wounded in action in Iraq and Afghanistan, right at two and a half percent have suffered the loss of a limb. That's a higher percentage than any other war and the direct result of three things. The first is the growth in the use of roadside bombs called IEDs. When they explode under a lightly armored vehicle, the results, well, they're devastating. But of those injured, a much higher percentage now survived than in past wars thanks to the increased use of body armor and new blood clotting technology. And while these veterans are now surviving their injuries at a much higher rate, they still face a lifetime of challenges. And no one knows that more than Noah Galloway, the Army veteran who's become a reality television star despite a life-changing injury. And we caught up with him as he was speaking with a group at Moore Norman Technology Center. When the Twin Towers came tumbling down, it was an easy decision to join the Army for Noah Galloway. And I watched as that second plane hit, and the screams and the cries. But with service often comes sacrifice, and Sergeant Galloway's life was soon to change. And in 2005, you would drive your Humvees with the headlights off, Night vision goggles on. With night vision goggles, you can see well, but you can't see everything. One thing I didn't see that night was a trip wire stretched across the road. Just three months into his second tour of duty, Galloway lost his left arm above the elbow and his left leg above the knee. You know, it was such an emotional up and down roller coaster when I got injured and I woke up in the hospital and, you know, there were moments where I was like, you know what, this is fine, I missed an arm and a leg, I'll be okay, I'll be fine, I'll make something of it. Then there are other moments, I mean, I was very emotional and thought, what am I going to do? And then those moments where I was like, this will be fine, I went through a lot of denial in that part of my depression. And it, wasn't, it took me a couple of years to think, you know what, I don't know what I can do, but I'm not going to know until I start pushing myself. Like a lot of our injured veterans, there are injuries that we don't see. Don't see, yes. You know, I, the, my obvious injuries were my arm and my leg, but there was so much that was going on emotionally and mentally. And I see that in the guys I served with, you know, that have all their limbs. In fact, I feel worse for them because people don't see that they're even injured, may not even know they're a veteran and they're going through all these struggles. They have all these, these dark moments. And, you know, when I talk to veterans, when I'm talking to another, you know, serviceman or woman that has been through that, I remind them that if you're going through it or, you know, if you serve with people, connect with them. Because they may, you may not know they're going through something, but you have to connect, you have to connect, because that'll come out. Something Galloway knows firsthand. The former fitness fanatic and hyper-competitive athlete was now drinking, smoking, and sleeping his days away. But late one night, Galloway took a long look in the mirror and realized there was more to him than the injuries. That depression I went through was so hard to come out of. Uh, there were a couple of things that happened. You know, I had a lot of family, friends, organizations that were there for me. But then also, more importantly, it was my kids and realized I needed to be a better father. And that motivated me enough to get into a gym, start exercising, eating healthy, and just start that slow progression to being healthy again. And just having that goal of getting back into shape was enough to distract me and pull me through that depression. Scramble, do anything you gotta do. And Galloway began a fitness journey, pushing himself into extreme competitions around the country, reshaping his broken body into tip-top shape. And a full decade after his devastating injuries, named by the nation's top fitness magazine as the ultimate men's health guy. When I look in the mirror, I'm proud. Uh, you know, I, we all, especially when you're in fitness, you become very picky, you're a perfectionist. So yeah, sometimes I'm not that happy. I'm like, okay, I need to work on this. Oh, my diet's kind of catching up to me, so now I need to adjust. But more or less, the fact that I am injured and where I've come from, it's been 10 years since I've been injured. What I see is that I'm powerful and I'm strong even without my left arm and left leg. And the reaction I get from people, uh, the first couple years of injury, people would talk to me and they felt sorry for me. I don't get that anymore. Even before all this attention came, people would see me 
yeah, I'm missing an arm and a leg, but they see that I'm probably in better shape than they are. And the reaction I got from people was, wow, this is incredible, you know, and that was all because my demeanor changed, my outlook, and my appearance. But with every accomplishment comes the next challenge. And this time, it wasn't inside a gym, but on a dance floor on national TV. It was terrifying because aside from me missing arm and leg, I don't know how to dance. So here I am about to dance live on national television. But then once we got out there, Sharna Burgess, my dance partner, had taught me so well that when we did our first dance, it didn't feel too bad. And then once we did that dance, week two was better, three was improvement. So then each week it just got better and better and more comfortable. And I owe that all to Sharna Burgess and what she was able to do and work with me. Uh, she's an artist, and I was the canvas that she was creating. And, and you really, you danced to a Spotlight song by Oklahoma's Toby Keith? To yep, Toby Keith's uh, American Soldier. I don't do it for the money, it is bills that I can't pay. I don't do it for the glory, I just do it anyway. And I will always do my duty, no matter what the price. That was a pivotal moment for me, and that was week five, halfway through the competition, and I wasn't sure how long we were gonna last. I was kind of losing motivation, but the reaction from people changed everything because of that one dance, that one song. And then every dance on Dance with the Stars, in each individual dance is put on YouTube, and this was season 20, and all those dances that have been on YouTube, that dance in one week had the most views of any dance in the history of Dancing with the Stars, it had 41 million views. And it was shared by uh, General Odenero, he shared it on his Facebook page. Uh, Vice President Biden's wife tweeted it. There was all these different people of different levels that were sharing this dance. Galloway and his dance partner finished third in the competition, and he is now a nationally sought after speaker with a message of, you can choose to be bitter or you can choose to be better. You gotta find what it is in life that motivates you, that pushes you, that you are drawn to. Something myself, Galloway hopes we can all learn from. In the past, we've seen too many movies or TV shows that put veterans in a bad light. You know, you may think, oh, a Vietnam veteran, this is a guy who lives out in a trailer in the middle of nowhere and stays drunk and does a lot of drugs. Well, you know, there might be that veteran out there that we need to reach out to and get help for, but you know how many successful CEOs had served in Vietnam. You know, we are a group, we are the, the small population that were willing to sacrifice life and limb for this country. We've been pushed and trained in leadership. We are willing to go above and beyond. We are the ones that will do whatever it takes to protect our fellow American. And that man or woman out there that has served in uniform is somebody that these companies need to realize are the biggest asset they could ever have and we need to get past the stigmatism of what a veteran is that they're broken because we are much, very much powerful, strong, and willing to work. Noah, thank you for your service. Thank you. Now Noah's TV stardom continues to shine. He's one of four coaches on the reality TV show, American Grit, where they push their teams through military style competitions. And so far in season one, Galloway's team is beating them all. Now when we return, we meet some of the people who help amputees get back on their prosthetic feet.